Sup guys, it's Andrew, and I'm coming at you with the MSP430 project. I'm going to be honest, uh, I'm using the Energia software compiler, and it's got some pre-made stuff on it for LCDs. I got myself an LCD right here, Liquid Crystal 16x2 display, but the, the thing was, their, their program doesn't, didn't have the same pinouts as mine, so I just modified it a little bit. But I just want to show you how cool this thing was. Like, I'm learning, I'm learning about this thing every day. It's it's really awesome. Here I have my launch pad. I made a little case for it with an Altoids tin. I really love Altoids tin. It's just good for everything. I think. Anyway, uh, modified the program so I used the 1.0 to 1.5 pins, and I set them on here my breadboard. And I got all these wires running crazy into this LCD thing. And basically, right now it displays Hello World and it counts up every second, then it hasn't been reset. So if I push the reset button right here, it goes back to zero and it counts up. So that's pretty cool. I had to look up the data sheet for my particular LCD screen. If you're going to try this, then you might have to also. Depends on what where you buy it, eBay, Amazon, what model, but it shows me my, my pinout functions right here. So I can uh, check that out and I compared it to the program they had on there. The only pins I really needed to connect to my microcontroller was pin 4, 3, 2, and 1, DB4 through 7, and I connected pin 9, which is the E and 11 RS. Uh, RW went to ground and BDD VSS, you know, that's 5 volts and 0 for this trip, for this uh, LCD. Because, let me get focused, because my, uh, this chip outputs 3.3 .3 volts, I went ahead and I connected, I went here and I put two wires connecting there that go straight to the USB USB power that's powered with 5 volts which is just enough to run this LCD so if I were to ever take off this this chip and try to install it on another breadboard or something something permanent I'd have to find a, a power source that would supply it taking a look at the public code we've got a pound include liquid crystal library that's easy we need that to power the LCD and to initialize the function, we go LCD, and inside the parentheses we have 1.0, which is RS, 1.1, which is going to be our E, 1.2 to 1.5 is going to be our uh, DB, what was it, DB4 to DB7, and our, okay, our setup function, which is only going to run once. We initial we tell we tell the program that oh this is a sixteen by two display because we got a sixteen by two characters we can input. LCD print is gonna print out uh, exactly that ASCII uh, message. Hello world. So in our looping function, the LCD set cursor uh, that that command is basically telling you where you want to start writing right into the LCD okay and the next function is LCD print the function milliseconds as you know milli is a thousand so a thousandth of a second every thousandth of a second that's what it's counting every thousand seconds this function right here is counting every thousand seconds but you're dividing that by a thousand so that's gonna give you one second so every single second it's gonna print one two three it's gonna count up so that's what LCD print does. The millisecond function is built into it's basically reading how long it's been on, how long the chip has been on without being reset. So it's gonna loop. Once that finishes, LCD print finishes, it's gonna go back to set. Then it's gonna go LCD print, then it's gonna go back to set. That's what a loop function does. So right now I've had it on for 666 seconds. That was pure coincidence and so yeah if you're looking at set cursor it's gonna be 
row zero, or my bad, column zero, row one. So it's always going to start here once it loops back. Here, right, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. That's what it's doing. So, I don't know. Learning this thing is pretty fun. I, I think. Alright, tell me if you guys like this video, if I should keep doing videos like this, because this is honestly my first hardware te technology type video. So, uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Um, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned.